foreign exchange rates and converting pound sterling into US dollars. It is not a good picture right now. And how does that affect you if you are looking to buy real estate property in the United States and more in particular in Florida? Check out this video as Lionel, a realtor, John Brock Edgar, who is a mortgage broker, and I talk about this very subject. Okay then guys, so on this chart, we're looking at the exchange rate. Uh, this is comparing the dollar to the pound. And if you look at this graph, you can see that it's touching now at 128. This is the, the live price at the recording of this video, which was interesting enough, uh, back end of April 2022. So we're just talking about exchange rates and how this could affect people that are moving or thinking of uh, investing from the United Kingdom or any other country for that matter into the United States. I mean, guys, 128 is the lowest it's been for one year. How is this going to affect people that want to buy property in the United States from especially UK? Well, George, just make a start uh, on that one, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, um, it, 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 it's a, the, the, the effect of people buying in the US is going to be negative, uh, unfortunately, because it means that they get less uh, less dollars for their pound, uh, which means that they have to either uh, settle for a lower priced property uh, or adjust their budgets, um, which is uh, typically what we're uh, dealing with at the moment. Mm. And uh, jo uh, Lionel, from your perspective, are you seeing a drop of interest from Brits buying in Florida at the minute? No, not at the moment, but many, many people who start the process don't finish the process. You know, the vast majority of people who come to see me or, or contact me really don't know where to start even. It's just, you know, we need to speak to a realtor who knows what's going on. Can you help us? And then I, I start by sending them some really, really you know, fundamental um, literature on the process. And, and that's how they then come to understand what's going on. We don't get into the nitty gritty of exchange rates, mortgages. Well, I'm, I'm not licensed to talk about mortgages anyway. But no, of course not. No, of course not. Are, are you finding it? Conversely, though, guys, I mean, if we talk about exchange rates, uh, and I, I was speaking to Louise in the car the other, just this morning, talk about exchange rates in Europe and in the States. I mean, right now, we've got a good exchange rate against the euro in the UK, but not so much on the dollar. But conversely, it could be an opportunity to sell a US property if you're a Brit. And, and you know, back to your point, John, uh, you could actually get more money for your for this, selling the property and then bring it back to the UK. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I'm I'm not the real estate expert, so I'll let Lionel deal with it. But the, it would logically seem to make sense that now would be a good time to sell if you were a Brit um, uh, owning a property in the US. Yeah, we we so in the last year, property prices here have climbed twenty one percent. That's that's not sustainable. Over the last two two and a half years, almost forty percent. So, you know, if you bought a house even in twenty nineteen, then you could cash in and with the ex and then if you want to take your money back to the uk the exchange rate being as low as it is the other way conversely becomes a nice bonus for you so not only do you get absolute top dollar i mean and i, and I don't see we will get on to where's the housing market going you know i don't see it it's unsustainable at 20 odd percent where will it go we'll, we'll find out but um now if you don't want to hang on to a property, if you've had the property a little while, or even you want to just make a windfall, then now is the absolute time to sell. Because I do think that you know, in increase in mortgage rates, and we'll talk about that, will have some effect. What mm -hmm. effect we can discuss, but absolutely, if you've got a, pro a, pro a property now and you've made money on it, I'd, I'd be having a look at it. And the only I mean, other the thing you've got to take into consideration at that point is. Uh, the fact that uh, the major mo the ma vast majority of properties will now make a profit, and therefore you have to worry about the, the just the tax consequences, the capital gains tax, the withholding uh, by the IRS, and things like that. But we, you know, that's maybe not a conversation for today. But uh, well, actually, John, things it that is need to be taken uh, into account. Yeah, I, I think it is because I think what there is a misconception about um, selling property as a British person, whether 
you sell it whilst you're in the States or you sell it in the, well, if you're moving back to the UK, especially if we talk about recouping your money. But it, there is a danger, isn't there, that, um, that the attorney selling the property for the seller, um, they would say, well, actually, if you're moving to the UK, you're no longer going to be in America. So we'll charge you 15% FERP to tax, which is on the gross value of the property. So that's a huge amount of tax. Well, that's going to be withheld. So you need to get advice before you do anything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's only a withholding tax. It's 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 not necessarily the tax that's going to be charged. It's just that the IRS want to recoup any capital gains taxes, uh, which is due before the seller moves the money back to the UK. Mm-hmm. So it but is it's a, a withholding. substantial amount, though, isn't it? That's but it is a substantial thing. amount. Yeah, it is 15 percent of the purchase or, or sorry, the sale price of the property. Mm. And if some people aren't wary of, sure about that, I mean, in the UK, we do have a 30 day reporting of capital gains tax when you sell a property, but actually you're, you're paying capital gains tax on the gain you made, where FERTA is based on the sales price. So people selling properties, you do need to be aware of this, mm-hmm. uh, get some advice because you can avoid FERTA. But I think uh, certainly this currency exchange rate has got concerns. Uh, but uh, obviously, for it's not going to stop the bubble, like you say, uh, Lionel. The, there are other factors going to affect that. But I think for British people moving or looking to invest in in the states, it might you need you do need to worry about the exchange rate because you could lose substantial amount of money if you're not careful. Hopefully, that video was useful for you. But please do not stop there. There are plenty of videos that I know that will help you build your wealth whilst reducing your tax liability. And in this video, well, this is the one I think you should be watching right now.